Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Arduino Uno LCD display. Now an LCD or liquid crystal display is a great way to display information in our Arduino Uno controller. We'll be wiring and programming an alphanumeric two rows with 16 characters on each row. The display has an LED light emitting diode backlight with an adjustable contrast. This white and blue LCD will display hello world on the top line and temperature on the bottom line. The thermistor temperature circuit created last time will be displayed in both Celsius and Fahrenheit degrees. So detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca and links have been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So when you look at an LCD display, it is made up of a series of dots or pixels. and Each of these pixels is a liquid crystal. If, if electricity flows through that liquid crystal, it would change its structure and be more rigid. This rigidity uh, will look darker when there's no electricity, or, or look darker if there's, there's electricity applied. And if there's no electricity applied, then it will be lighter. And if we use a light behind the LCD, then the backlight, when we make this pixels more pronounced. So electricity on the pixel will block the light and no electricity will let the light through. This contrast is what we see using an LCD display. So what we will be doing is wiring up our LCD display to our, our Arduino Uno. And this LCD 1602 has a, a few uh, pin assignments to it. And if we look at those, uh, the way we wire the LCD, we have our 16 by two here. We have our um, zero volts going to our ground. We have our plus voltage here, and then we're going to five volts. And then we have our contrast, which are V0. So this is going to a 10K potentiometer that will actually control the contrast on our LCD display. Then we have our, our RS signal going into D7 and our E signal going into D8. Then we have um, now our RS signal is a register select signal and our E is our enabling pin that will be supplied with a low voltage causing the LCD module to execute uh, relevant instructions. So the E means execute. Then we have our data lines here. There's actually eight of them, but we're using seven here to write or four here to write, which is DB4 to DB7. Um, and then we have uh, A and a K, which is the backlight display that provides uh, five volts in order to light that backlight. So what we can do now is actually physically look at that hardware. And here it is right here. So this is our Elegoo Uno you know, R3. And we are connecting to um, uh, this LCD display monitor here through these signals that we just discussed. Then we have a thermistor uh, voltage circuit right here that we are measuring our temperature in both Celsius and in Fahrenheit degrees. So that is basically our wiring. And you can also see that we have our 10K potentiometer right over here that actually is controlling our contrast of our display screen. So next what we'll do is take a look at our actual program. And what we do is we first of all include use the include to um, include our library for our liquid crystal uh, program. And to do that, we go sketch, we'll include library, and then add zip file. Then we specify the uh, zip file that came on your Elegoo starter kit disk, or you can go look below here and download it from our website at accautomation.ca. Once we have that in there, after our include, then we set up our liquid crystal with our pin assignments. Then we have um, our variables here for our thermistor. And we're using again the Steinhardt coefficients for thermistors in order to calculate our temperature. So here's a link that will give us our three coefficient uh, values that we need here. Then what we do is we specify our startup. So run once. We set up our LED uh, number of columns and rows, the 16 by 2. Then we print a message to the LCD, which will start at the beginning of the first row. And it will be a space, and then we say hello, comma, and world with explanation mark. 
Then what we do is go to a continuous loop. In the first part of that loop, we will actually uh, read our analog for our thermistor and we do our calculation for our Celsius temperature. Then we do our calculation for our temperature in Fahrenheit. Then what we can do is we set our LCD cursor to zero one. So zero being uh, the first column and one being the, the second row because it's the starts at zero for the, the, uh, the first row and one is the second row. Then we're gonna say print a space. Then we're gonna say the temperature in Celsius and then print the actual uh, degree cell Celsius. Then we're gonna print the temperature in Fahrenheit and then degrees in Fahrenheit. And we're gonna continuously do this um, as we go along. So you'll see that my hello message, hello world message does not have to change. It stays constant while everything else goes, goes ahead. What we can do now is actually upload that just to make sure that our program here matches what's in the controller. And it's just gonna compile that, make sure everything's okay. And then it's gonna send that down to the Arduino Uno R3. And what you'll see is that the is done uploading. So what you'll see is now that our program that we have here is actually running. And as you can see, if we turn our uh, contrast, you can see our contrast changing. So it works quite well. And then if we hold that actual thermistor, you can see how rapidly our temperature now can change. So based on my, my finger temperature. So I was calculating it quite quickly, um, all these uh, calculations. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.